Last night I got an email from somebody who said, I don't know what Obama is doing. It, none of it makes sense to me, but Glenn, what you said on the program tonight is that the Department of Energy now wants to stop me from having a Cuisinart. And for the life of me, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't know, I, no big deal if I can't have a Cuisinart, and how does that help the country? What would Barack Obama's motivation be? Well, I thought of that and I realized, oh, I apologize to you. I have maybe gotten ahead of myself. I want to answer that question. First of all, Obama's not coming after your Cuisinart, but the Department of Energy is coming up with new mandates now that will decide what appliances will be available to Americans in the future. So, in a way, it may be your Cuisinart. Now, why would he do that? What, what, because that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Well, to understand what's happening in our country, we must stop projecting our views on other people. It's like, um, why doesn't profiling work? Profiling doesn't work because you think you know what people look like or what, how they're going to behave or how they're going to speak, etc., etc. And it doesn't take long before the good terrorists know that if they don't look or act that way, the way you expect them to, they can get right past you. Somebody can be wearing a, a you know, a bomb vest and, and look Swedish and, and speak with an American accent and boom, before you know it, you're blown and you never saw it coming. Well, that's because we project our views on other people. And it's wrong to do in all cases. Um, it makes you vulnerable. So to understand this administration, we must not project onto this president or onto this administration or people in Congress the views that we have, because it won't make sense. That's why so many people are frustrated. They're, they're like, I, none of this makes sense. You must not think and act the same way that traditional small government, free market Americans, who may be Republican or Democrat, have always thought. Let's start here. Let's start with, because there's two choices tonight. So let's start with, let's just call it the Tea Party. I, I, you know what, I think it's really um, the traditional Democrat, like my grandfather, and the traditional Republican, not the progressives, but just the regular person that grew up in America, loving the Constitution and everything else. Do you not think that your neighbors, your Democratic and your Republican neighbors and your independent neighbors, can we all agree that the things, the way we're living our life right now is unsustainable? We cannot continue to spend money. We can't continue to buy these gigantic homes and everything else. It's unsustainable. We have made mistakes, so it's all going to fall apart. Now, I think you agree with that. I agree with that. But does the president and the people in Washington, do they agree with that? Let's find out. The alternative is a status quo that is unsustainable. Simply unsustainable. Set to remain on an unsustainable path. An utterly unsustainable course. That current system is unsustainable. This is the unsustainable path we're on? Okay. So yes, the system is unsustainable. We agree with all the people in Washington. You agree. It's unsustainable. Now, how to fix it? How to fix it? You see, the president says he's not an ideologue. But he is an ideologue. And he's a, pragma a pragmatist, too. The, the founders were pragmatic. They just believed in a small government. They believed in, in free market solutions. So I think the average Democrat and Republican, because look, we're all the same. We, uh, there's good Democrats. There's even progressives that happen to be small business owners. And when you're a small business owner, you know it's the free market system. It, you cannot question that 70 to 80 percent of all jobs created in a recession or depression are created by the small businessman, the entrepreneur. So we believe in the free market solution, not corruption, not these big banks that are out of control, not people being dirt bags to each other, but decent free market people doing the right thing every day. We believe in the small businessman. The question is, does the president believe in the free market system? Watch. 
we have been guided by a Republican administration who believes in this simplistic notion that people who have wealth are, the, are entitled to keep it. Must. Must. Redistribute wealth. Are you then calling for the redistribution of wealth in society? Absolutely. We know that the free market is nonsense. So I think the debate for the new generations, instead of capitalism or socialism, is we're going to have both. The free wants to make everything equal in everybody's house. And there's going to have to be a degree of redistribution. Do you dispel all the negative images we have been programmed to conjure up with just the mention of that word socialism or Marxism? You need to need to do some redistribution. This is a form of redistribution. And I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for it. Okay. I believe he believes that. To believe in redistribution of wealth or Marxism does, is, does not make you evil. Um, I think it makes you wrong. Um, I think it makes you naive. Um, look, the president doesn't, doesn't want to destroy people. Um, perhaps, perhaps the people who believe in this should read history of how previous attempts at big government have ended in disaster, not once, not twice, but every time. But this is what they believe, okay? They do not believe in the free market solution. They agree things are unsustainable, so something has to be changed. But they do not believe in the free market solution. Now, the third one is, this is you, I assume, you believe in small government of the people and by the people. You look to the founders and original intent. You look to the documents that have always guided us to get here. Okay. Are we looking for a small government of the people an American original intent. Is that what they're looking for in Washington now? So how are we going to achieve a new global economic order? As students, as workers, or as global citizens. A new set of rules for the whole world. We created global trade. We created global finance. We created global companies. But we forgot to create a global government. And one of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance. Work on a better world order. Global citizenship continue to bind us together. Okay. That's why he spoke in Germany. Because he believes in global world orders. Everybody in his administration does. Now, what's frustrating here is whenever we play the clips of them expressing this view, uh, tonight I'm going to be the one who's called crazy or conspiracy theorist or whatever, for playing their words. Well, it doesn't... Stop playing that game, America. Stop caring what they say, because the republic is at stake. And do I sound hateful? Because I sure don't want to be hateful. I'm just trying to point out the differences between us. I thought diversity was a good thing. Here it is. Choice one, things are unsustainable. We both agree on that. Two, free market solutions. They say no redistribution of wealth. You don't have this crazy notion of keeping the wealth you make. And a small government of the people, by the people, look to our founder's original intent. No. A global governance or global government run by elites. That is fundamental transformation. This is restoration. And I want to make it very clear. If, if, if you're watching this program and you disagree with me because I'm a hate monger, I'm not talking about restoring what we had under Bush. That was broken by Republican progressives. I agreed with you that we needed change. But what are we transforming into? You have to look at their actions because this is where, this is where you have them. This is where your neighbors can come to this. If you understand, do not look at this administration with these eyes. Look at everything they do with these eyes. Does this make sense? Because when you read the news, nothing makes sense if you look at it with this. Use this framework. Things that don't make sense. I'm just going to.